Indiana lifts its mask mandate, but there are still some restrictions in the Hoosier state. We're asking what it would take to be mask free here in Ohio. Governor DeWine has said we must reach 50 cases per 100,000 people for two consecutive weeks before we get rid of all COVID restrictions. Edward Health officials have said repeatedly that mask wearing remains a key component of someday reaching that goal. Uh, two News reporter Madeline Ashley is live in the newsroom after talking with local doctors about why mask wearing is still important even as many people are getting vaccinated. Mark Brook, medical experts say to get to the point of no masks, you've got to wear the mask a little longer because protecting yourself and others is key while more people get vaccinated. As states like Indiana begin removing mask mandates, Ohio health workers say keep those masks on. Right now, we still have to wear masks. We still have to social distance, and that's going to be still in place until the numbers go down to a much lower level. Public Health Dayton Montgomery County Supervisor Dan Suppoletto says taking precautions puts Ohio in a good place. We're seeing the number of doses of vaccine increasing, and that's a good thing throughout the state of Ohio. We do need the people to continue to get vaccinated, though. Local health experts say they're watching case rates closely in states like Indiana, where masks are no longer required. Are we going to see a bump in the numbers? Are we going to see, you know, some of these variants take over and start moving through a little bit more with a little more impact than what they have already? Even though people are getting vaccinated, Dr. Allen says the mask still helps. There is a three to four percent chance that you wouldn't have um, immunity at that point. So you can still get the virus. You can still pass the virus on to others. Until we reach that magic number of herd immunity, uh, once we get herd immunity, then the, uh, the, uh, the odds of you being exposed to somebody with it are so low that we can go without. Cephaletto says vaccine appointments are still available this week at the Bethesda Temple Minority Clinic, and he encourages people to make appointments this Friday for next week at the Dayton Convention Center. Live in the newsroom, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.